Okay, guys, so if you missed problems, I think this was five through, I'm trying to think, was it seven? Yeah, five through seven. Um, because that was dealing with the first kind of first two steps of completing the square. Um, and there wasn't a, a big lot of, uh, there wasn't a lot of work here. It was just understanding that if you weren't too sure, here's that summary again. Understanding for completing the square uh, right here, we had to rearrange and divide if necessary. We had to do these, um, oh, where's my pen? Sorry. We had to make sure that we can, we understand how to do these half square add, then factor or simplify the right side, take the square root. But we're only on the on problems four through, I mean, was it four? No, sorry, five through five through seven. We were just talking about the first two step, steps. And understanding for completing the square, it has to be a perfect square trinomial. So only thing you had to do on this was we want to turn it. <coughs> excuse me. Dang, I'm sorry. We want to turn this into a perfect square trinomial. Well, for it to be a perfect square trinomial, that's bad. That's still bad. This number has to be a perfect square, and the first term has to be a perfect square, and then the middle of the term is basically time is two times the square roots of each of the a and the b. So this is our a square. This is our b square. So really, all we have to do to um, get our C is in our step, it tells us right here, we got to take half and then square it right here, okay? So, I'll, I'll, I mean, this could have done, been done mentally. Um, and basically, our B equals a negative 12. So then we needed to take half of that which gave us negative 6, and then we needed to square that. And when we square it, it actually comes out to be a positive 36. And that's all we needed to do there, okay? And some of y'all did that mentally, and I was fine with that. But if you missed this, make sure you have the rework now that I just showed you. Tell me why and what you can do next time. Now, if it was um, number 6, number 6 is using the same format, um, but now adding, doing all of step two. So again, here's the rework. Your B is the middle term, which is the 10. You then needed to take half of that B, which comes out to be five. Then you needed to add, or well, square it, excuse me. And then you would need it to, in the parentheses, I mean the blanks right here, we would have needed to add 25. To both sides. So let's just find the number that needs to be added to each side. It was our 25. So it's the same step. The first one is just understanding, create the perfect square trinomial. And then this one is saying, make sure you know you have to add that perfect square trinomial or add that um, perfect square to both sides. And so if you miss here, just tell me why and what you can do next time. Maybe understanding your perfect square trinomials a little bit better. And then here. Okay, so to solve by complete square, what do you need to do? Uh, what needs to be moved in this equation? So, in order to do perfect square trinomial, I mean, in order to get a perfect square trinomial and to do completing the square, we had to recognize that we had to rearrange our equation so that all contents, constants, excuse me, are on the right. So, we had to make sure it was in the right format. And if I look at this problem right here, the equation should look like something like this. AX squared plus BX and it's equal to some type of constant on the right side of the equation, of the equal sign. So here, what needed that, we already have the constant 9. That's fine. That needed to be over here. But what does not need to be over there with that 9 is that minus 4X. So what needed to occur was this minus 4x needed to move to the other side so that we would have x squared plus 4x equals 9. So what needed to move was that minus 4x, okay? And I gave you 
points if you said the 4x because maybe I thought I took in consideration that maybe students when they had the equation when we had the minus 4x were thinking oh I need to do the show do the inverse operation which was add the 4x on both sides so maybe I you know gave you points for that but moving this is what needs to be moved that's talking about the actual term so that was all we needed to do for completing square on this section. So for um, five through seven, it was just understanding the first two steps. So that's that's pretty much it. Now when we get into um, number eight, I believe, yeah. Um, oh no, I think that was one. Yeah, this was also in the step. So here, this is your steps. Yeah, eight also was in the steps. Sorry. Here, um, what needed to be do uh, would be. What would you need to do next? So we are rearranging, but step one says to also divide if necessary. So when we're doing completing the square, and, and I'll show the rework over here, it needs to be, oh, that's horrible, sorry guys, x squared plus the square plus bx, what am I doing? x squared plus bx equals C. It needs to be in this form. And your A, your A here has to equal 1. We cannot have an A greater than 1. That cannot happen. So right here, because we have this A greater than 1, we have to divide everything by 2. So I don't, I think it was, uh, I can't try to remember, I think, I don't think I have the answer choices on here. I believe this was one that I had. Yeah. So, um, because they were asking what would the next step be up here? Yeah. What would be the next step to solve? The next step was the divide both sides of the equation by two. Okay. So, there's no math here. You just have to know to rearrange. Oh, there it is. I wrote it down here. Sorry. Um, to buy both sides. So um, the, re the rework that I did up here, guys, or up here, I need to go down here. I'm showing this. Sorry. Right. Goes in that box. And then just go into are you missed. All right. So now the last section. Last section of the test. Um, I'm going to pause this video and do a new playlist and make sure. Yeah, now we have to do work. These are our open-ended. I think there was one multiple choice. All right, let me do this playlist. 